At this point in your ascension process, many metaphors will be presented to you. You will become aware of these trigger phrases or codes that activate memory and thus the DNA. This triggers changes at the cellular level, moving you from a dense carbon-based physical being into a crystalline being of light. The changeover, or indeed the alchemical transformation you shall undergo, may not be felt by you or even known by you. You may resist it, consciously or unconsciously. There are those who have knowing that they are currently undergoing this process. There are those who feel the process, and there are those who feel and know. There are those who can see the process. However it occurs for you, it will be unique and personal. And indeed, it is your personal journey of this transformation that triggers others into their own personal journey. Or it may be that your personal journey, when shared, assists others as they go through their process. However this may occur, wherever you may be, whatever aspect of the mission you are engaged within, you will find your awareness opening up to these trigger codes or ascension metaphors. Whilst these triggers and codes are present within visual and other sense received patterns, it is the verbal audio visual link we speak of here. The metaphors presented as words and phrases that you may hear or see in the written format. It may be that another incarnated human speaks the phrase. You hear it within a song or you read it as the written word. Yet a great many of you will begin to hear these phrases through the clairaudient sense. Telepathy codons coming online with the memory triggers presented as thought from self, higher self or extraterrestrial ultra-dimensional broadcast. This may occur within dream time, meditation or the moment betwixt sleep and wakefulness or this may occur for you within the fully conscious waking state. Whichever way you receive these triggers as words or phrases, receive them you shall. There are a great many of these words and phrases firmly embedded within the collective consciousness of humanity in all the various languages expressed across your planet. We have spoken before of these triggers, yet at this time, through this particular transmission, we speak of one specific ascension metaphor as words or a phrase that may have moved into your awareness or thought process. The phrase we refer to is that of the bird tribes. This may move into your awareness as similar or extended phrases such as winged serpent, bird races, return of the bird tribes, bird tribe prophecy or similar. Now is the time for this trigger phrase to enter the consciousness of aware humanity and move towards a critical mass point. Whilst the decoding of the metaphor brings understanding and processing within your third and fourth dimensional streams, the trigger itself unlocks the memory codons with or without processing of it. To assist you in processing and to deliver yet more codons through embedded imagery within the presentation, we can present threefold the unravelling of the trigger of the bird tribes. Thus the tools for integration of this memory field is given. Within the first stream is the North American Indian and indigenous tribal peoples prophecy. The knowing that the reincarnational line must shift from the current bloodline and spread the native people's memory codons into Western society and to that which they called the white man. Yet the original stream of indigenous tribal peoples moved forward into all races and spread across your planet Earth throughout humanity. From that perspective, 
the knowing of the ignorance of white man, thus called, brought about the realization that change must be made. Therefore, the leaders, shamans and wise women of the tribes who held the awareness regarding the bloodlines and the incarnational lines through communion with spirit, were able to project forth their soul's experience into the bloodlines within Western society as a direct individualized incarnation, or as their group consciousness to be merged with incoming souls. This we may call mapping. From our perspective, these different methods of transferring energetics and memory keys from one civilization to another across your planet are one and the same. Yet from your perspective, they may be seen as two different methods. There were leaders within the indigenous tribes that were able to complete death to birth conscious transfer and project themselves forward into an incarnation of their choosing. This projection on a conscious level was simultaneous to the clairvoyant sight dream walking awareness amongst the tribal peoples that led to the prophecies of which we speak that the return of the innate wisdom keepers knowledge and energetic brought forward from westernized society as well as retaining the knowledge and keys of light within and maintaining their own bloodlines thus was created the prophecy that stands in mirrored match to the return of the bird tribes from this first stream one can see that the bird tribes are the star seeds reincarnated or memory mapped from the original indigenous tribal peoples hence the reason so many of you star seeds have pre-incarnate memories of having lived within these indigenous tribes it is the keys of the wisdom keepers of earth that are transferred through you from extraplanetary and ultra dimensional worlds through the royal bloodlines, the ancient civilizations of Atlantis and Lemuria, and the original native earth civilizations of the indigenous peoples, and through the civilizations of ancient Egypt and more. The star seeds, through mapping or incarnation, carry the codes from multiple realities, worlds, and timelines holding the very keys to consciousness itself within their DNA. The particular code they bring from the indigenous tribal peoples is the code for harmony with the earth, or indeed harmony with the planet they are incarnated upon. For the indigenous peoples knew, more so than any other group consciousness on earth, of the synergy and unity between the incarnated human and his or her planet. They knew of the synergy and unity between the great spirit of the planet and her human. It was the divine feminine energy, honored through the planet they walked upon as Mother Earth, coupled with the cosmic connection they knew as Father Sky. This as above so below awareness is intrinsic to the building of your own personal matrix the Merkaba ship that can and will transport you wherever you desire and wish to go, allowing you to choose between direct death to birth conscious transfer, mapping, soul incarnations and ascension. You may and shall experience all these methods of transformation as a soul, for you hold the intrinsic knowledge of all this and more within your DNA. The codes of harmony with the planet you are incarnated upon are thus passed throughout humanity from the star seeds who have incarnated across the four corners of the earth. The star seeds sit upon the globe that is your mother earth, your Gaia, in all walks of life, within all creed and culture. They, you, hold the codons for this harmonious living so that they may fulfill the mission that is there for all physically incarnated beings as guardians of the planet. It is Earth you walk upon now. Therefore, your mission as guardians of Earth 
is one that comes online, if you will, at this time. For you hold the keys for the knowledge of harmony, synergy and unity with your planet. Therefore, from the perspective of the first stream we speak of, it is the star seeds who are the bird tribes and your return is now. Presented within the second stream are the higher dimensional beings themselves, extraterrestrials and angelic consciousness structures from individualized points of perspective. We could indeed include time travelers within this group, those individuals from your future, although these individuals fall into the category of extraterrestrials. For your planet Earth in the future is, from your perspective in your now, another planet. Therefore, we have three distinct groups. As one, extraterrestrials, angels and time travellers. Why do these groups fit the label of bird tribes? Ultimately, for the same reason as the first stream, they are individualized points of perspective following that of their own mission or existing as we do as individualized consciousness only when given that perspective by virtue of another's focus. Hence the reason why we, the white-winged collective consciousness of nine and other constructs like us will present at times or constantly in bird form with feathers, with wings, with bird faces. Many of you connected starseeds will have guidance system individualized structures presenting as birds or winged beings. There are indeed those whom you would refer to as extraterrestrial who present as form that you would recognize as a bird as they hold a different sequence of DNA molecule formation than you humans on Earth with a higher percentage of what you would recognize as avian DNA. It is the avian DNA code that presents the sequence for the formation of wings, both physical and etheric. When starseeds awaken, they hold the templates for other DNA code formations, including that of the avian DNA. The DNA itself within the human and what you know as the extraterrestrial holds a different formation when the individual is aware and begins to unlock memory. The DNA itself takes flight in its formation and creates wing-like structures. The DNA itself begins to fly. Therefore, the bird tribes from this perspective are the extraterrestrial visitors that surround your planet now in their light ships and transportation devices. They are the angels who connect telepathically at this time and have done throughout history with your race. And they are the time travelers, you from the future, who have the ability to project themselves through time and appear as solid as you. The code, therefore, of the bird tribes is one you will recognize intrinsically as a galactic code. The reuniting of the earthbound, trapped human, if you will, moving into freedom and flight as the galactic aspect of self comes online. Many will resonate with the bird image personification, either as the majestic eagle, shamanic hawk, wise owl, peaceful dove, strategic magpie, or indeed the magical and transformational phoenix. The third stream presents the bird tribes as the aware, conscious, activated aspect of the individualized human self. In this metaphoric presentation, the unaware, unactivated human aspect is the land animal, the fox, bear, horse or lion who parades the plains and walks firmly on the surface of the planet. Whilst the fish is the aspect that swims within the collective sea of human consciousness and the mole lives under the ground in the underworld aspect of earthly magic. It is the bird that represents the higher aspect as the bird soars high in freedom and flight and you getting your wings or growing your wings 
is a metaphor used in your Earth's timeline since the beginning of recorded history and before that. A great many of the starseeds will feel these wings physically, as wings growing on their back. They will feel these etheric wings as much as they feel their physical limbs, for this is the true blueprint of the human being, the winged one, the unity between the land and the sky, or the earth and the universal cosmic galactic planes, taking us back through the first stream of the indigenous people's prophecies and beyond into the higher dimensions. Again, as above, so below comes into play as matter and antimatter, thought and manifestation, third dimension and fifth dimension, separation and unity. It is the one who holds unified consciousness that attains their wings and feels these wings stretch and expand as they stretch and expand. The memory codon of the bird tribes comes online in your year of 2017 as a critical mass point awareness within these various streams, all of these streams simultaneously, and new streams created as new thought permeates through the void of no thought. 2017, year of the phoenix rising. The magical phoenix of transformation and change rises once again, regenerated, reborn and renewed as you step into the awareness of the bird tribes and walk with the wings upon your back, proudly extended as a sign of your service, surrender, expansion, unity and galactic connection. We, the white-winged collective consciousness of nine, welcome you as you stretch your wings and soar high into the multidimensional realms, renewed and transformed as the phoenix. Indeed, there is work to be done upon your earth plane, third dimensional physical reality. Much change shall come about in your year of 2017, and this we see has already begun. As the seeds planted at the time of the shift, 21st of December 2012, are made manifest and new seeds are planted. Embracing the metaphoric codons as you receive them is a major ascension thread, if you will. And if you turn from the chaos of duality into the zero point field of unlimited potential, you will hear the sounds, heed the call, and know who the bird tribes are. Now, in your year of 2017, the bird tribes, heralded by the phoenix, return to your planet, and you, the winged starseeds, shall receive them into your hearts and homes and allow the transformation of ascension to take place, as surely it shall take place, is taking place, and has taken place. Receive your wings with grace as you unlock the ancient memory codes and begin to fly. We are the white-winged collective consciousness of nine. What is the matrix? Who are the masters? I, Magenta Pixie, am so very pleased to present my first book, channeled from my guidance system that I refer to as the White-Winged Collective Consciousness of Nine. Discover the true story of our origins as an energy system, how we lost the original template for our destiny, and how we are now in the process of remembering those lost codes. Learn how humanity may reclaim the sovereignty which is rightfully ours, bringing us back into wholeness, integration and full understanding of who we are, what we are, why we are here and what we are here to do. Spirituality, metaphysics and science merge as the sacred geometry known as the language of light is downloaded and decoded. The realization and activation of these ancient codes for a new dawn of man is an alchemical process available to us all. Now is the time that collectively 
we move forward into a fully conscious ascension and embrace the new archetype of Master of the Matrix.